beyond the putative role of non-human NUGC as a potential molecular link between diet, autoreactive antibodies, and the progression of human cancer, let me offer one final tidbit on the evolving NUGC story. The potentially deadly toxin produced by E. coli 015787 that causes the hemolytic uremic syndrome that can shut down the kidneys of children actually attaches to new GC. When we eat animal products, the assimilation of dietary new 5 gc creates high affinity receptors on the human gut lining and kidney blood vessels, conferring susceptibility to the gastrointestinal and systemic toxicities of the E. coli toxin. Ironically, the same foods rich in new GC are the most common source of contamination with these toxin-producing E. coli. So meat provides us with the receptors to the very toxins the meat may contain. It's like a, a gunman handing us our own bullseye. So there are both long- and short-term consequences. Taken together, these findings suggest a two-hit process in the pathogenesis of human E. coli-induced disease. First, humans eat you know, new 5GC-rich food, leading to incorporation of new 5GC on the surfaces of their cells. Second, when exposed to a toxin-producing strain, the toxin produced will be able to bind to the intestinal epithelial cells, perhaps causing acute gastrointestinal symptoms, and eventually damaging endothelial cells in other organs like the kidney, thereby causing HUS. New 5GC-rich foods not only sensitizes human tissues to the toxin, but also simultaneously increases the likelihood of infection with toxin-producing E. coli. These pathogens are usually found in the intestines of livestock, and as such, most commonly enter the human food chain by fecal contamination. Thus, those who consume large amounts of these types of foods may be unwittingly preparing their bodies for damage by a toxin-producing organism that contaminates their next meal of the very same food types. The researchers ask, is this poetic justice for meat-eaters? Not when it's a major cause of acute life-threatening kidney failure in children.